So here in Final Cut Pro, I wanted to show you a good habit that I would encourage people to get into when they're closing up libraries that they're not gonna be working on for a little while. And that is to clean up the render files and also any optimized or proxy files that you generated when you're importing into Final Cut Pro. And this will help to keep space free on your hard drive. So by deleting the render files and the proxy files, we're deleting files that we can always regenerate. So if we open up a project or reopen it, then we can re-render or we can remake those proxy or optimized media files. And rendering normally happens if you're editing clips and then adding effects or changing the scale of things, adding things like the Ken Burns effect or titles onto your clips. And also things like speed changes will mean that you end up doing a lot of rendering. And this can take up space on your hard drive. So I've created a, a new project here, and this is the next project I'm gonna be working on. And what I wanna do is tidy up this project and this project before I close them. So I'm gonna highlight the library, and it's important to highlight this little square with four stars in it. And then we'll go to File and Delete Generated Library Files and here we can delete the render files and we can either delete all the render files. So if you're coming back to your edit, you might just want to delete the unused render files or if you're moving your edit to another computer, you might just want to clean things up by deleting the unused files or we can delete everything. Now, there's no problem with doing this. We can always regenerate these things so we're not going to damage our Final Cut Pro edit when we delete these generated library files we're just cleaning things up so that we have more space on our hard drive which is always tough to find when you're editing a lot of video so we'll click ok now that will delete those files and if we right click here now we can go to close library and we can close that library up and then we can do it again for this next library file delete generated library files and delete all those render files and any optimized or proxy media that's been generated click ok and right click and close that library. Now one reason that I created my new library before I deleted those generated files from the old library is that if you have any timeline down here from that previous library, then as soon as you delete those render files, if you have a timeline open, then Final Cut Pro will start redoing the background render, which we don't want. So get a blank timeline up that's not gonna have any rendering being done on it, and then go ahead and delete your generated media files. Now, one other thing I would mention uh, that I find really useful for managing my media is that if I come down here, I have this application called What Size, which essentially allows me to measure any of my hard drives. So one thing that's really hard is when we're looking on our hard drive, it's hard to know exactly where space is being taken up on our hard drive. So here you can see we have a list of different projects and if we dive into some of these we can see very specifically where space is being taken up and which Final Cut Pro projects we might need to open to tidy up. So we have a few different projects here and we might dive in here and have a look to see if our Final Cut Pro bundle in here has a lot of render files or analysis files in there which are files that we can always delete and recreate. So if you're trying to clear space, then have a look at the size of your project files. You can see the size of those uh, Final Cut Pro project files on the hard drive, but also as you're archiving projects, just make sure you do a little clean out of the render files, any generated files, and that will help to keep your hard drive tidy. I'd really recommend what size is a great way of measuring your hard drive space and trying to find out where different projects might be filling up your hard drive.